Sauro Poseidon Protelis. The Sauro Poseidon Protelis is a standout among the sauropod dinosaurs, recognized for its towering neck and significant height. It thrived during the early Cretaceous period, approximately 110 million years ago in what is present-day North America. Is estimated to be one of the tallest and largest sauropods, with potential heights of up to 18 meters, or about 59 feet, and lengths nearing 34 meters, or 112 feet. Its total weight is speculated to have been around 50, 60 tons. Its most notable attribute is the elongated neck, which alone could reach lengths of up to 12 meters, or 39 feet, helping the creature to graze on treetops. This impressive range reduced the competition for food, allowing the Sauroposeidon to maintain its enormous size without the immediate need for migrating in search of fresh foliage. The long neck vertebrae of Sauroposeidon are also distinctive, displaying air-filled cavities known as pleurocoles. This not only reduced the overall weight of the neck, but also provided evidence of an extremely efficient respiratory system, akin to modern birds. Furthermore, its neck likely possessed a series of long tendons, enabling it to remain relatively straight and reduce the energy required to move it. This efficiency would be crucial as constantly moving such a massive neck without any mechanical advantage would be energetically costly. The actual feeding motion of Sauro Poseidon probably involved minimal lateral neck movement, instead relying on vertical sweeps to graze from trees. While the Sauro Poseidon was a herbivore, its sheer size was its primary defense against predators. The towering stature would deter most potential threats. Additionally, its massive tail could serve as a formidable weapon. A swift lash from such a tail could deliver a powerful blow, enough to deter or even seriously injure smaller predators. The sauropod's legs, being stout and strong, could also be used defensively, potentially delivering devastating kicks. Like many large dinosaurs, the specifics of Sauroposeidon's reproductive habits remain a topic of speculation due to limited direct fossil evidence. However, based on what is known about other sauropods, it's possible to make educated guesses. Sauropods, including Sauroposeidon, likely laid eggs in vast nesting grounds. These creatures would choose sandy or soft grounds to dig shallow pits, wherein they'd lay their eggs. Once laid, these eggs might have been covered with a mix of vegetation and soil, perhaps to regulate temperature and protect them from predators. The sheer size of adult Sauroposeidon implies a long growth period. Thus, after hatching, juveniles would need to grow rapidly to reach a size where they would be less vulnerable to predators. Herd behavior, often seen in sauropods, would offer young Sauroposeidon some protection, with adults potentially forming protective barriers around their more vulnerable offspring. The first evidence of Sauroposeidon was unearthed in the early 1990s in Oklahoma, USA. Originally, the excavated bones were mistaken for petrified tree trunks due to their massive size. However, subsequent analysis revealed them to be neck vertebrae from this previously unknown giant sauropod. The name Sauroposeidon translates to Earthquake God Lizard, drawing inspiration from Poseidon, the ancient Greek god of earthquakes in the sea, capturing the creature's grandeur and might. Although only a few remains of Sauroposeidon have been found, it's a significant discovery in the world of paleontology. The anatomical structures observed in its fossils, especially the air sacs, have provided insights into the evolutionary connections between dinosaurs and birds, further emphasizing the advanced respiratory systems of these ancient giants. Sauroposeidon protelis is a testament to the incredible diversity and adaptability of sauropod dinosaurs. With its towering stature and unique respiratory features, it stands as a prominent figure in the rich tapestry of Earth's prehistoric life, offering glimpses into the fascinating world of the Cretaceous period. Are you a dinosaur enthusiast like me? Click on subscribe and follow me every day in new adventures. And hey, don't forget to check out the other videos too. See you tomorrow with a new video.